What's going on guys? Riley here from RP Productions. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to ceramic coat your wheels using a ceramic coating. But before we do that, I wanted to give a shout out to the Camaro because today is my six month anniversary of owning this Camaro. So exactly six months ago is when I purchased this beautiful blue beast behind me. So far in the six months of ownership, I have yet to have a single problem with this car, which is always nice. I mean, you're not really expected to have a problem within the first six months, but you know, things happen. Coming over here to the car, you'll see it's got 9,102 miles. So just over 9,000 miles on the car. And speaking of ceramic coating, Mr. HTX Scat is coming to join us today. The ceramic coating that we're doing today will be on HTX Scat's brand new wheels, which we'll see here in a second. But for now, we get to stare at his nice Scat Pack charger. I'm sure my neighbors appreciated that one. It's all, dude. There he is. <laughs> Where are they at? In the truck. You want to reveal them? Pop them up. Alright. Ooh. These are the 20 by 9, so these don't look as cool, but there you go. Hot damn. Those are sweet, man. Yeah. Should be pretty cool in the car. Are you live streaming on Instagram right now? IG. <laughs> So if you guys don't follow HTX Scat on Instagram, you definitely should. He's a badass photographer, like eight times better than I am. So he's getting some sick shots before we do this ceramic coating. We're gonna be using the Adams Polishes ceramic wheel coating. Come on, brighten up. So all the goodies are in that little box right there. However, the same process still applies to pretty much any ceramic coating. So if you don't have Adams, not the end of the world, but that's just something that we would recommend. Now let's go ahead and talk about these badass wheels that we're gonna be using for our test subjects today. Uh, Armani, what are these? So over here we have the 20 by nines, which will be right in the front. And then over here to the right, we have the 20 by 10 and a half, which will be in the rear. Um, they've been painted, powder coated, brushed gunmetal. If you can see the center caps, uh, carbon fiber. The wheels are pretty light. We're gonna put them on a scale today so we can tell you the actual weight of them. What else we got? Pretty much it. That's pretty light wheels. Yeah. 305 Forge. They're like a newer wheel company, aren't they? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, I haven't really seen much of their stuff, but I have started to see it pop up on Instagram, and I won't lie, the wheels look badass. Yeah, I'm a little guinea pig for them. So. All right, so I'm going to make Armani do all the uh, ceramic coating on these wheels. That way I can film it. However, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. So Adams packages it nicely with some instructions. And then you got some coating prep, some ceramic boost, and the actual ceramic wheel coating itself in that little glass bottle. Also in the box you'll find there's a little microfiber applicator and two little microfiber towels to help you with applying it. So pretty much if you buy this thing, I wanna say after like the 15% off discount code, it's 110 bucks. And if you're like, wow, that sounds expensive, you can actually charge people at least $100 to ceramic coat their wheels. So if you buy this, you can make your money back in one wheel coating for your friends, family, or whatever. So. It's actually a really good money-making scheme if you really think about it. You could buy this and then do, I think he's, Adam in his video said three. So you could essentially triple your money off of doing three sets of wheels with this little kit. And when it comes to ceramic coatings, there's different hardnesses of ceramic coatings. So for example, when I got the 1LE back here, I ceramic coated it the day after I bought it and I used the paint ceramic coating, which is a, I believe it's a 7H on the hardness scale. And then for wheels, you want something that's a little bit harder. So these are a 9H and this is on a scale out of 10. So essentially this is one of the hardest ceramic coatings on the market, which is made to withstand the, you know, brake dust, the heat, etc. cetera. Um, it's just a, it'll last a little bit longer and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I guess technically you could probably do the, the paint ceramic wheel coating on these or the paint coating on the wheels, it probably wouldn't be as effective, probably wouldn't last as long. Um, so that's why I'd recommend getting the really hard stuff over there. But uh, let's go ahead and get to applying this stuff because it's extremely easy. And like I said, if you guys wanna make money off of this, well, here's your little demonstration how. So first things first, you don't necessarily have to take them off the car, although I would very strongly recommend taking your wheels off of your car before doing this. That way you can do the inside of the barrel. I mean, if you're doing them on the car, I suppose you'd be able to get the face of the wheel, which would make that part, uh, cleaning that part easier. However, the barrel would look disgusting and the, the face would be clean. So I would recommend taking them off. Also, I guess we haven't mentioned yet why you would want to do a ceramic coating on your wheels. So basically, 
Think of it almost like a secondary clear coat for your wheels. It's something that it'll make cleaning your wheels so much easier. Um, let's say they get dirty, they're covered in road grime and brake dust. You just take water to it and all the stuff just falls off your wheels. So it's pretty cool that it's just basically to make life a whole lot easier, make cleaning a lot easier. It's kind of the same principle of doing a ceramic coating to your paint, only this is with wheels. So first thing we're gonna do is use a coating prep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray down the whole wheel with the prep and then we're gonna do half with the ceramic coating itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these towels here and I'm gonna go ahead and prep the wheel. Just to note, we're gonna do a quick prep with these wheels because they, they're brand new, they've never been on a car. But if you're taking your wheels off of your car, you wanna go ahead and clean them very well, getting all the nooks and crannies. Uh, you might even wanna get a little swirl remover, get in there, get it polished, buffed out really well. But these wheels are pretty new, well they're brand new, so they haven't had any road time yet, so they're pretty clean. So I'm gonna consider that clean for the barrel side. So we're gonna go ahead and shake this up a little bit. And we're just gonna put a few drops right here on our microfiber that's applied, right down there. And then we're gonna close up the cap because uh, this ceramic coating is essentially glass, so it will crystallize very quickly if it's exposed to air. So we're gonna cover that up back up. And we're just gonna go ahead and apply the coating to half the wheel. And once you start applying it, you'll start, you'll, you can see where you started. the barrel and you can smell it. Smells like it's gonna protect it. <laughs> so I don't know if you can feel it through the gloves, but try to feel like where you started. Is it kind of sticky? Or is it, like, what does it feel like? Can you tell through the gloves? Not really. I'll feel it. Oh yeah, there's a huge is difference, it? yeah. So right now is the time when you want to buff it off with that borderless gray towel. Don't use the one you used yeah, the prep on because that'll just take it off. All right. So go ahead and wipe it off. Yeah. So just start buffing the whole thing. So at this step, you basically applied the ceramic coating to the wheel and you'll notice that it's kind of sticky, I guess, at this point and it just kind of feels weird. I can kind of feel it through the towel. You can? Mm-hmm. The resistance. So the towel will not glide over the wheel at this point. That's when you come back later, which I'm talking like later in the day, and you'll hit it with Ceramic Boost. Now this is the same basic process if you're doing the, um, the ceramic coating to paint as well. You want this ceramic coating to have time to cure before you go back and hit it with the boost. And then once you hit it back with that boost, then it will become slick at that point and uh, nice and smooth. All right, so now the back side of it's done. Um, we're gonna flip it over and do the exact same process on the front. Um, so we're gonna speed that up so you guys don't have to watch us do it all again. All right, so Armani, how'd that go? Uh, it wasn't too bad. It was a lot easier that there weren't any tires on it and it wasn't that dirty. Um, I definitely recommend doing this with a set of wheels that you just buy instead of you know, doing it on your car. But hey, whatever you can do to do this is definitely recommended because this is gonna save a lot of time in the long run. So now I'm gonna let RP put the camera down and come help me out with the rest of these so we can get them done a lot quicker and I can go get some lunch. All right, guys, so it's been about 45 minutes. We got all four wheels all nice and done and at this point they're all like a little bit sticky so we're gonna wait a few hours and then come back and hit it with that ceramic boost that we mentioned earlier to make them nice and smooth so at this point the ceramic is curing onto the wheels you don't really want to touch them or mess with them or whatever just leave them there uh, come back to them I guess do this in the morning come back to them in the evening and you can knock the rest out so yeah with that being said I'm gonna send HTX Scott home I'm gonna take care of his wheels for a few hours and then we shall return to do the boost. Six hours later. So we've let the wheels sit here for a couple hours in the famous RP Productions garage. Uh, let the ceramic coating cure. Now we're gonna go ahead and use a ceramic boost and hit the wheels and then wipe them off and then uh, this wheel should be completely done. And we'll move on to the rest of them. 
So as I'm sure you can tell by this video, ceramic coating your wheels, actually in your car, is a pretty simple process, just really time consuming. That's why you can kind of make your money back by doing this little job for other people. Um, that's why people will pay you a lot of money to do it. Pretty self-explanatory video. I just thought some people might appreciate. Uh, you know, like I said, the little method, maybe you can make some money off this or you can do it to your own personal car and it will save you a lot of grief in the long run when it, if you have a car with like uh, Brembo brakes that has a lot of brake dust and stuff like that or you have a truck and you go mudding and you want to clean it off easily. Uh, ceramic wheel coatings, that is, that is where the future is headed. Uh, just like ceramic paint coatings, ceramic stuff is it's pretty sweet. So as I'm sure you could tell, this video was extremely laid back and just kind of a basic tutorial. Thought you guys might find it interesting and some of you I'm sure will hopefully use this to your advantage and maybe make some, uh, make some money off of this. If you want to see these wheels put on Mr. HTX Scat's Scat Pack, definitely go follow him on Instagram at HTX Scat. They should be on his car within the next probably day or two of me posting this video. So they should look really nice. And once again, let's go check out his car. Color changing, daytime running lights, front splitter, wrap, and then he will be on the new nice 305 forged wheels, but currently he's rocking these uh, Gen 1 SRT wheels, which were kind of just like a temporary thing. He was on Hellcat uh, wheels for a while. But super clean scat pack, really nice. He's going for kind of the, the show car theme, so I'm excited to see what he does with this thing, and uh, it's always been one of my favorite scats. All right, so that's pretty much it for the wheels. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, like Riley said, it's pretty laid back, pretty simple, but a lot of people don't know how to do this, so it's always nice to teach people the, th the simple things. Um, like he said also, follow me on Instagram. I will try to post some more YouTube stuff, but I don't want to make any promises, but Instagram is definitely the place to to stay updated with me and all the stuff that's going on with me in the car. So as always guys, thank you guys for watching the video. We will see y'all in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.